No, don't do that! <laughs> Too much scarier than Mr. Incredible! The back rooms! No. Seriously, what is this meme and why is it taking over YouTube? Seriously, what the heck is going on here? So not only have you guys been telling me about this uncanny, canny, Mr. Incredible meme thing, but my actual nephew in real life is obsessed with this. And I really want to know why. Again, there's so many videos on this, I'm just going to kind of click them at random. The first one here is Mr. Incredible becoming uncanny story mode. So yeah, I know very little about this. It's kind of his reactions to just text or other images here and how he just kind of feels about them. But in this case, it's going to be a whole story and kind of his, and kind of his expressions throughout the story. So let's just shut up and get into it here. You woke up and feel fresh and light instead of being tired. You remember that there's no class or anything today. <laughs> you hop on Minecraft, look at his expression. <laughs> See, he loves Minecraft. I did not know Mr. Incredible loved Minecraft. Your friend is online. Why is Mr. Incredible the one going through this trauma though? You create a world and start playing with your friend. All right, the more the merrier. You and your friend found diamonds. <laughs> oh yeah. How quick though, you and your friend go to the never and start massacring the mobs. Oh, we're looking like Doom Guy or something. You've found truckloads of, of neverite. Hey, you and your friend get full Neverite gear and get ready to face the Ender Dragon! Alright, he's in! He's all in! Whoa, there's light beaming out of his ma- uh, out of his eyeballs. You both defeat the Ender Dragon. What the flip is that face? What does that have to do with Mr. Incredible? It doesn't even look like him! Okay, he's back being normal. Your friend says he has to go. It's been two hours. Oh no, he's unhappy about this. He's very unhappy. He doesn't like that he's been gone for so long. It's been five hours and you have been waiting while watching some videos, so you decide to log off. Oh, he couldn't wait for him for long. It's been weeks and you still haven't heard of your friend. What? Okay, yeah, you would be concerned. Why does he look like this? The news shows that he went missing. He has been missing for seven months. Why does he get like this? Whoa, what is with the problem is it? You start having frequent nightmares of you murdering him when you sleep. Why would you have? So was he secretly behind this? Oh, what does he have all these eyes in his eyes? The nightmares keep getting more brutal and realistic. This is actually really creepy. It it keeps getting worse. Why is Mr. Incredible the butt of this? I don't know. Why? Whoa! Did he get shot? One night your family went out and you're home all alone and minutes that you hear scratching and breathing noises in your basement. Look at him right now! Did he become a zombie? You find your friend's corpse in your basement? Wait, so he secretly killed him somehow? What? Is that what's going on here? He was killed in such a way that no human being could do. Okay, maybe he didn't, but he was thrown in there. Dang, why does he look like that? What is going on? He's not even recognizable anymore. He's not even Mr. Incredible. Why is he a troll? <laughs> you hear growling noises and you quickly get out of the basement and lock the door. Why is he a troll now? What's the troll face got to do with Mr. Incredible? <laughs> this is so weird. This is so weird. You hear growling noises and you quickly get out of the basement and lock the door. So bizarre. What's going to happen now? You still can't believe your friend is dead! Mr. Incredible! He, he starved himself. You go back to the basement with a kitchen knife to check, but to find out your friend's corpse was gone. What is happening? <laughs> this story getting kind of confusing here. Something emerges from the darkness. Oh, I don't like these faces. And the music too. It extends its arms and quickly grabs you before you could even get out of the basement. How does my nephew handle this? It, it drags you down into the darkness. He's only like five! He's like flipping five! And I'm already getting my panties all wet. It stares at you for a while and slowly starts opening its mouth. Like I hear him in the background just watching this stuff. I don't even know how he handles it. Handles it. He goes to bed completely fine. You send a barrage of kicks to its face and you escape while it is screeching in pain. Okay, so we're fighting back right now. Mr. Incredible using his incredible powers. Oh, you're annoyed. You annoyed the creature and now it wants to torture you badly. Okay, that one was like kind of animated. Oh, okay. These uncanny images evolving. They really are. You got out of the basement and unlocked the door, but the creature broke down the door and chased you! So he's next. He got his friend and now he's next? Who is his friend? Fro Frozen? It catches you and now you're doomed. Holy heck. Look at that face. That is traumatizing. You have received a fate worse than death. It tortures you till you die? Why is my nephew watching this stuff? You accept your fate as the creature starts scratching and damaging your skin? Torture you to death? Why is that crossed out like that? We're back to being a troll! Because we're so dead on the inside and we're so dead on the outside as well. Hot die! 
That's crazy. He's just sat there taking the beatings. But this is Mr. Incredible. <laughs> Why would he take this? You hear gunshots and you open your eyes to see the creatures. The text is too quick sometimes and it's way too slow other times as well. You hear gunshots and you open your eyes to see that the creature... Creature's head was blown off. By who? Why was it suddenly blown off? You see your friend was stuck up by the creature. I thought the friend was dead. I thought the friend was dead. How is the friend back? Is this another friend? It probably is just another friend, I guess. It's not the online friend that he's playing Minecraft with. Unless the friend never died, despite its head being blown off, the creature was still alive and it charges at your friend. This creature is invincible, no matter what you do. No matter what actions you take. Your friend shoots it down and you both beat the heck out of it, okay. The creature dies! Okay, they finally defeated it. Okay. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! We got eyes! Light up! Your friend informs his family and everyone else that he's alive and he comes to sleep over at your house and you both play Minecraft and have fun all night long. Okay. So he was alive. So he didn't die. Right, we got some big old thing here. Why the MC had nightmares of him murdering his friend? The MC had visions of the creature trying to kill his friend, but he saw himself instead. How the MC's friend was alive. He faked death to confuse the creature, and the creature thought he was done for, and then used him as a bait to lure the MC into the basement. I'll name the creature Basement Wanderer. Teleports to basements. How his friend got in his basement. When he finished his lunch and went back into his room, he passed out and woke up all bloody inside his basement with blood all over him because of the creature. How the MC's friend got a shotgun? I don't know. <laughs> that basically sums up the story. It just The guy doesn't even know what he was writing. The guy doesn't even know what story he was planning. None of it made any sense. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to move on to something else. There was more parts to do with that story mode thing we just checked out, but it got a little silly, it got a little stupid, and the creator didn't even know what the heck was going on. So we're going to move on to Mr. Incredible becoming canny. You're in public storyline. So this one, he's not uncanny. He's being canny. He's going to get happier with each image, and he's going to get more impressed with whatever the heck he sees, I guess. So we're gonna shut up and find out his reactions to stuff here. POV, you're in public. Your mum tells you to go outside. It's a nice day outside. <laughs> you go to the park. <laughs> I like this, I like this more than the uncanny. Oh, you see a guy staring at you. Why is he going uncanny? This is meant to be canny. Why is he staring at you? Wait, this was meant to be good times. Oh, he's blind. <laughs> you continue walking. <laughs> I like this, I like this a lot. You see your crush! Who the heck's your crush? I don't know. She walks up to you. <laughs> oh, he gets a little nervous. His stomach starts to hurt. He's getting butterflies. Oh, you remember you ate spicy food. Oh, no, it's not butterflies. No, don't do that! You're gonna ruin, you're gonna ruin your time! And then he goes, wait, wait. Oh, okay, he's fine. I was gonna say he was gonna embarrass himself. No, it's back and you can't hold it. <laughs> you release and fart, no! Everyone stares at you. Oh, you've ruined it, man. You've flipping ruined it. They start laughing. You've ruined it. Oh, man. I thought he was going to, like, be really happy. You slowly wake up. It was just a dream. Oh, okay. He had a nightmare. Hey, you see people stare at you. Oh, no, no. You're still in the park. It was the dream. You passed out. No! Well, based on that last video, I want to check out more from this career because I actually kind of enjoyed that one. Probably more than that story mode thing, to be honest. Mr. Incredible becoming canny. You're a YouTuber storyline. All right, this is going to be relatable. This is going to be relatable because I'm a YouTuber. I am. No, no matter what my mommy says, I'm a YouTuber. To-do list, sleep, be lazy, sleep. Oh, I like how it's a bit more animated here. Okay. A bit more effort. <laughs> oh, I don't like his eyeballs looking at me like You're a YouTuber. You wake up and see a new meme. You decide not to be lazy and make a video like me. You start editing it and it's actually funny because I wasn't going to record today, so... <laughs> Your editing software crashes? No! That's happened a few times, but oh, it seemed to work. That's happened too. Hey, you finished the video and upload it. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is super relatable. Your video doesn't get any views. Yeah, that's relatable as well. <laughs> I swear you, YouTube hates me right now. You go to bed because you're depressed. <laughs> this video was made for me. You wake up and your vid is blowing up. Oh, okay, that can kind of happen. Your video gets copyright. This is so relatable. <laughs> it's fine, you're not monetized anyway. Oh, I am monetized though, I'm, I'm fine. At least as of this video, <laughs> you're, you're suitable to apply for monetization. I mean, 
when I made a YouTube channel, there was never this monetization request and stuff, but you get declined. What? Wait, you got declined. Why was he happy about being declined? <laughs> But now he realizes, yeah, it's not good times. Oh, Wait, no. you got declined. So not only is Mr. Incredible the butt of all this, but now Elastigirl has been pulled in. Since when did that happen? I didn't actually know about that. So this is going to be rather interesting here. So yeah, we're going to see the reaction to Elastigirl and wherever it says, and then the reaction to Mr. Incredible. So I'm guessing it's going to be kind of two different opinions. Maybe at some point they'll share the same opinion and the same kind of faces and expressions, but... For the most part, they probably have different reactions, right? You wake up and see a shadow, girls. She looks really weird. Boys. Okay, so he's happy about this? You look at the sky. She's actually wearing her suit now. Boys. <laughs> What's going on? I, I'm really confused. Oh, there's a UFO. <laughs> she looks scarier than Mr. Incredible. She looks way scarier. Why is he happy about this? I would I would be with uh, Elastigirl. You dropped pizza. That would be my reaction. Okay, and that, I agree, I agree. I'll tell you what I agree with and not agree with. They give you many things on your birthday, yeah? Boy, yeah, okay. Why would we be sad about this? We'd be very happy about this. You see your brother eating your food. Me, 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 me. Okay, Mr. Incredible's not gonna like he. Why does he like that? <laughs> Why does he like that? I've had my brother eat my food many times over the years when I was little. He would like nick stuff off my plate. <laughs> A puppy bites you. Okay, I would not like that. You get bitten by a pit bull. Oh, of course, that's gonna sting. That is gonna sting. I mean, that's gonna cause many pain. Look at her white. She looks creepier than Mr. Incredible. She really does. Hot dang. Yeah, you both wouldn't like that. You fart in front of your partner. Why she? <laughs> she looks so weird. <laughs> Why would the girls be fine with that? <laughs> Mom, check your history of Google. I I I agree with uh. Elastigirl on the fire and bite with your partner, though. I would, I'd be happy about that. I, I always find that hilarious. <laughs> when your exam is to tomorrow. Yeah, the girls are always prepared. Oh, you're crushing on someone else. Yeah, why would you both be happy about this? You would both be... Die. Very traumatized by the looks of it. When your intentions are pure. <laughs> he doesn't look so pure there. <laughs> He's got some hidden intentions. He really does. Very hidden. Your friends ignore you. It's that. Oh, I don't like that face, though. It looks so weird. Looks like he's wearing a mask when your uncle is a mafia boss. <laughs> he looks like the kind of guy that would just, like, tell everyone about that. Like, when you first meet boy slash girl, you try to know him, her. <laughs> you share everything together. Yeah, why not? Get cozy, get comfortable. Woo! Yeah! You both agree, of course. We all agree. You both have feelings for each other. Of course. So yes. Elastigirl gets the shades too. Hey, they're both in agreement. Why would they not be? Why would they not be? You are officially a couple, but not married. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's good times. That's good times. <laughs> I kind of love that face, man. It looks so maniacal, but... Just so stupid. You propose him, slash her. Okay, I think both got the same reaction here. Where's Mr. Incredible at? What does that one mean? I don't get what that one means. Is that good or bad? I'm not sure. I'd be on the Elastigirl's side here. I'd be super excited, you know? I don't really get that. Oh! Oh! I don't like that. Oh, okay. Yep. I would feel like that too. But I probably wouldn't look like that. You're sad now. You broke up the relationship. No! It went downhill so quickly. Why? Sad times. Sad, sad times. You are now sad. You break up the relationship. <laughs> you try to avoid each other as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, it would be kind of awkward. Oh, it's even worse for the boys. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, maybe. I guess I would agree. Probably don't want to get in much contact, but you still think about him, her. That's the problem. Yeah, you probably would. Because you would think about all the good times too, you know? Dang, yeah. But it's kind of depressing at the same time to think about all that stuff. Because you were in that relationship for a reason. You must have liked them, maybe even loved them at some point. And good times were had. He slash she invited you to his, her wedding. Oh, but you didn't go there. That's the sting. 
That's a hot sting. Hey! <laughs> I just love how he's got the glasses to that. Like, yeah. I ain't going there. Stop them. PC gets married. Oh. Like I said, a sting. What a sting. After five years, he she has a kid. Oh, and you see the kid too? That's gotta hurt. And you're still like single maybe and thinking about them? Ah, I agree with both. They are so happy together. <laughs> now you are happy for him, her. Okay, so they're starting to kind of just get past that you were focused on your goal all this time. What was that goal? Oh, just a general goal maybe? Like a life goal? Finally, you get the success you want. Okay. Hey, are we going to be rubbing this in? I wouldn't rub it in, though. Are they going to rub it into that person they didn't get with? Now everything is possible you dreamed of before. <laughs> okay, I think this is just some kind of good ending here. They didn't get with who they wanted to get with. They broke up. They didn't get married. But they still lived the dream or something. <laughs> Okay, sure. Good ending, I guess. All right, so the next one we're going to check out is Mr. Incredible Becoming Uncanny. You get lost. Oh, this is going to turn real bad, isn't it? POV, you get lost in, what, your house? I'm guessing that's your house. So I don't even know how you get lost. POV, you get lost in Walmart. I'm English. I don't know what a Walmart is. You get lost in the museum. That would be really spooky, especially at night. You get lost in where? What? China? You get lost in an abandoned theme park. No. Oh, you get lost in the woods. What's worse, the woods or theme park? You get lost in, what's that? Some kind of abandoned house or something? You get lost in, I don't know what that place is, but I don't like it. Oh, his faces are horrible. You get lost in, where is that though? I don't even know what these places are, but I don't like them. Oh, what's this, some kind of a, abandoned mine? Oh, this old timey music. I don't like it. Look at his face. Dang, that's a combination. I'm hating right now. Ooh, why is there so much focus on this? Stop! Stop! Roll to the next one, I don't like it. You get lost in what? Space? All right, the next one up. Mr. Incredible becoming uncanny, your house. So his reaction to what house he has and what house he has to live in. Okay, your house is? That looks real nice. Real nice. Oh, your house is? What's, what's so bad about that? I mean, it's a bit small. Your house is your car, no. That would be horrible. Your house is- what the flip is that? No thanks. Your house is a teapot. What's going on? It's so small. <laughs> kind of cute though. Your house is- what is that? Whoa! Okay, that's kind of cool though. Like, okay, that's creepy, but look, it's floating. Oh, some rundown shed of sorts. Yeah, I wouldn't like that too much. Oh, the drafts. The chills. What is going- why is your house between a, between a rock like that? Your house is? What even is that? Why is he upset though? That's kind of cool as well. Doesn't that look awesome? I don't understand why he's become a troll. Okay, that's kind of weird. I don't trust that. Oh, I wouldn't trust that. Your house is? What is going on? Why are they all levitating? At least most of them. Ooh, that looks really cool. But again, I probably wouldn't trust that. Ooh, is that just balancing on the mountain there? Wow, just in the ocean, like far, far away. What the heck? Wait, is this Sonic.exe music? But look at that. That is... Whoa, you brave soul. You brave soul. Look at that swing. How the heck? Why the heck? What the heck? That is, of course, the worst. Just suspended like that? S SCP Foundation. No thanks. No thanks. I think this one will be interesting. Mr. Incredible becoming uncanny. You are barefoot on... Some nice grass? That's lovely. That's nice. Just plain concrete. Yeah, not good times. Oh, yeah. All those pebbles, all those rocks. What the heck? You're barefoot and what, though? Just mud? Oh, Dirty no. water? Come on, Mr. Incredible. Man up, man. Man the heck up. Why are you looking like that? That's not as bad as the pebbles. Barefoot and marbles. Okay, that's not very good. It kind of depends on how they're spread out and where they're placed, though. If they're all together, not so bad. If they are a bit more spread out... Then yeah, not good times. But I think I'd still take the pebbles though as the worst thing so far. Barefoot on snow? Yeah, just the chills, you know. Oh, you're barefoot on poop. <laughs> you're barefoot. What the heck is that? I don't really know what that is. So I couldn't really give my opinion on it. Oh, Pebble Road. Die! Like a whole, the whole road dedicated to the pebbles. I already told you guys that I wouldn't like it. So the whole road being dedicated to how that feels. 
Yeah, I would totally be pulling that face right there, Mr. Incredible. I would. You're barefoot on Lego! No! <laughs> Everyone's nightmare! I would become a troll just like you. Oh, I don't even like that image. Like, nothing's even happened. His foot is just over it, but it's already just playing out in my head, and I don't like it. No. No. I stepped on a pin a couple of times. <sighs> I think I was decorating for Christmas last, and I stepped on a pin. It fell when I was trying to put up a decoration, and it was lost. And I, I found it eventually. Yeah, I found it in my foot. <laughs> oh, you are barefoot on. That's, oh, that's got to be horrible, though. And just to realize you stepped on a skeleton as well. You're barefoot on glass. Ooh. Oh, it is getting worse now. Like, at first, it wasn't really getting that bad. Oh, how would how could you not see that, though? How could you not see them? Ooh, is that worse than the shuriken, though? Maybe? Probably. It's just like a cactus, though, isn't it? Hey, is that an echidna? How you doing, Nux? What, is that, like, lava? Like, molten lava? Holy heck. All right, so for the last one, we're going to check out Mr. Incredible becoming uncanny. You wake up in. So, yeah, guys, if you want me to continue checking out this Mr. Incredible uncanny, canny, Elastigirl stuff, let me know your suggestions in the comment section down below because I'm actually kind of enjoying these funny enough. So, yeah, let's get into it here. You wake up in. Oh, that's cool. You wake up in. A nice home. Like, no. Oh, imagine that, though. And this is you just wake up and not realizing where you are. Oh, yeah, I'd feel it. Oh, in a cave? Oh, that'd be weird. You just, you would just really wonder, like, what happened to you, the, like, before you went to sleep. You wake up in. Like, where? Oh, the woods? Oh, that wouldn't be nice. Someone just drops you off in the woods, you know? That's really scary. And you're completely lost. You wake up in a nest? <laughs> How did you even fit in there? <laughs> That's got to be one big nest. Don't worry, you'll have your mama bird take care of you, feeding you worms day and night. You wake up in... What, like, the investigation room or something? Yeah, you'd wonder what the heck you've done. Yeah, that'd be weird as well. You've probably done a re real bad thing for you to be there. Is that another kind of cave? I don't really know what that is. Free candy! Oh, that looks completely suspicious. No thanks. Goodness. Oh, you wake up, like, on a guillotine? Oh, you yeah, you wake up and you... You got five seconds and then the guillotine just activates. You wake up in... I don't know where that is, Mars? <laughs> you wake up in some guy's car or something. Again, very suspicious. I don't blame you for these reactions, man. I don't blame you for getting this uncanny. The back rooms! No. No. Oh, that probably is the worst. That's got to be the worst. The back rooms of all things. Oh, you're definitely stuffed. Where the heck? What, the galaxy? You wake up in the galaxy? <laughs> you wake up in the universe? Just floating around in space? What the heck? You wake up in... What does this mean? Oh, I hate the music, man. I hate it. The faces, the music. It is terrifying. It's so weird. Well, there you have it, guys. That was Mr. Incredible becoming canny, uncanny, and even the last of girl of all things. Why was she dragged into it? I don't know. It was bad enough that Mr. Incredible was the butt of all this. But a last of girl too? What's next? Her son? Her daughter? I don't know. But guys, if you want me to check more of this out, let me know in the comment section down below and maybe your suggestions of what Mr. Incredible canny and canny videos I should check out next time. But yeah, if you want to see that and more and whatever the heck else we do around here, you know what to do.